This is my best friend Troy and in seven days time he will play in a live showcase game in front of a thousand of professional scouts. Ever since we've been 10 years old it's been Troy's dream to become a professional footballer. That dream for him has become closer than ever going on trial with Premier League side Brentford last summer but unfortunately they did not sign him. Now Troy hasn't been offered a professional contract just yet so over the next seven days I will be training Troy like a professional footballer but not just anyone real madrid's wonder kid jude bellingham day one testing day now before we start the challenge we had to set a baseline to see how much he progresses after a full week of intense training jude is known as a box-to-box -box midfielder and can cover that distance in under 10 seconds whereas troy takes about 12. now bellingham scores all types of goals so we wanted to see how well troy would do on this specific drill Troy started to find his form on the next few attempts, but it was clear a lot of work was needed. And finishes like that just weren't gonna cut it. As a midfielder, passing should be one of your strongest attributes. So we tested how many targets he could hit out of five. Now, even though Troy's technique was really good on some of these passes, he just wasn't hitting the target and ended with a score of one out of five. Bellingham is known to do it all. So for the final test, I did four 1v1s against Troy. And let's just say I was cooking. Now I was feeling like prime Neymar and Troy was just letting me get past him way too easily. And just when it looked like he was about to get zero out of four, he made a challenge. These were Troy's results after day one. Now it's time for us to follow Bellingham's routine. Now after staying up all night doing some intensive research, the following morning, I met up with Troy bright and early to put him through Bellingham's routine. Players like Bellingham are known to do a lot of strength training. This will help them improve their muscular power enhance their overall strength and reduces the risk of injury and that's exactly what troy would need if he was going to impress these scouts now straight after the gym we headed to tesco because we were going to need to fix his diet if he wanted to perform like Bellin. his new diet would consist of lots of fruits and veg proteins and carbohydrates which are essential for footballers oh yeah and the sweets got a goal yes. what what's that now Bellingham's personal chef prepares all his meals but Troy was gonna have to do that part himself. I'm sure it would still taste the same. Day three and it's time to ramp up the intensity. Now it was minus five degrees and the pitch was completely frozen but that wasn't gonna stop us from putting in the work. If Troy wanted to be a professional this was just something that he would have to overcome. The main focus of today's session was for Troy to do everything at a high intensity. This would replicate a real life game scenario where he would have to do things at the highest level and there was no room for error. Good sense, really impressive you. You're ready, I think you're ready boy. Day four was more of the same. When I saw how hard Troy was working, it was clear to me, you cannot become a professional without hard work and discipline. Something I saw develop through Troy during this week. Troy was pushing himself to the limits and I could tell how badly he wanted that pro contract. Day 5 started in the gym where it was recovery day. Now players like Bellingham understand the importance of mobility. This is something every footballer does to reduce the risk of injury. Now this isn't Real Madrid but I managed to get access to a private swimming pool and sauna. This was perfect for Troy as we didn't want him to feel any soreness right before the big game. Ooh, ready yeah? It was time to see how much Troy had improved. First, we had the box-to-box -box run, and Troy improved his time by almost two whole seconds. Next, 1v1s. And it looked like Troy was still falling for my old trick. On attempt two, I used some quick feet and I got past him with ease. On attempt three, he just wasn't having it. And on the last attempt, Troy used all the strength training that we had done and put his body to very good use. Troy also showed improvements in his finishing. It was clear to see he was feeling himself as he was even using his left foot. 
and after two fantastic headers to round off the finishing drill, he managed to get five out of six, a massive improvement from day one. Last but not least, the passing test. Trey only scored one out of five on day one and he equaled that with his first strike. <laughs> The confidence in Troy was growing and with his last attempt, he did this. Troy was definitely more confident as he ended with a score of 3 out of 5. And with the final test complete, here are the results from day 1 and day 7. Troy had made massive improvements and now he was ready for the biggest game of his life. Now before the big day, we had to make one more stop to the barbershop to get him the Bellingham special. It was the night before the big game and a special package had arrived for Troy. Earlier that week, I made a call to my good friends down at Adidas. I asked them if they could plug Troy with the latest Adidas boots for his big game. Yo, what you saying bro? Yo bro, I'm good, how are you? I'm good still, you saying you got the package yeah? Yeah man, I got the boots, I love them man. Uh, Appreciate it so much. It's calm, bro. They're fire. You're deaf already for tomorrow, but listen, I'm gonna let you get an early night and I'm gonna be there tomorrow. So good luck, my bro. Thank you, bro. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, love. Now that everything was ready, there's only one way to find out if all of this really works game day. Alright, guys, today's the day. I'm a bit nervous, but. I know Troy's got it. Following the routine of Bellingham this week, I've learned that to become a pro, it takes hard work, dedication, and doing the right things day in and day out. Yes, guys, I've just arrived and it's one hour till kickoff. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a bit nervous. I've heard there's gonna be Premier League scouts there, but this is what we put in the work for. I know Troy's ready. Even when things don't go your way, adversity hits and people try and tell you no. Having a bit of self-belief and consistency will always get you back on track. And when you don't expect it, a little bit of luck will find you. So don't give up. This was Troy's moment. It was time for him to grab everything he had worked for with both hands. And as the game went on, I could tell the scouts were impressed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned to find out did Troy get signed?